about how tiny your mental is. It's about how you use your mental, you know? All right. So we are playing something completely off the mark for what I normally play. We're playing Pike in the support role because we're tired of playing supportive champions and getting teams that just hate me for being a support. So we're gonna take support out of the equation and we're gonna take all the kills and we're gonna try to carry this game ourselves. In terms of what we're running, we've got Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Ultimate Hunter with Triumph and Coup de Grasse with um, additional Adaptive Force and Armor and it looks like already. Already we are getting caught out. That is cool. Luckily the leasing got out of that. That's I'm already pretty impressed. Minions have spawned. Look at that. We're starting this off right. We're starting off with good escape Lee, right? Because that's more beneficial. Let's make him feel good. Oof, man. Okay. That was our- oh god. So the LeBlanc took a shit ton of damage there. That's actually really damn good for our Yasuo. Pike has big mental. Man, we have got a gigantic mental. Huge mental. There's a little bit of free damage, you know? Just gotta land these hooks, you know, show them, show them that we mean business. Okay. Oh, I missed both those, that sucks. Would have been really nice if we got that. Not M is it not Magmu? Not Magmu? Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh oh. understand how badly I want that cave. We tried. I think I've only had like two ADCs with huge mentals. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get some very, very interesting ADCs to say the least. Clover Cap, thank you so much for the tier one prime, sorry, the tier one sub, really appreciate that. And also, Crimson Tears, thank you as well for the Twitch Prime sub. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Glad to have you folks here. And it's a great time to sub because remember, people, as Crimson and Clover Cap can attest to, um, right now it is September. So if you didn't know about September, all tier one subs, all new tier one subs, are 50% off. Um, so. If you sub now, it's two dollars and fifty cents rather than the standard five dollars. So you can subscribe and also save money for a coffee later. So no subs really currently bought. Six more subs, boys. It's true. We are six subs away from hitting two hundred subscribers, which is pretty damn nutty. I'm worried that this Kha'Zix is going to try to tower dive this Kai'Sa. It wouldn't surprise me if that happened. Ow. Ow. Oh, 
Also, when you donate bits, the streamer gets 10% extra bitties. Very true. We also do get extra bits, which is very, very nice. Okay. I think it's about time to leave. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh man, we're so close to getting that, but I think this is probably the best idea. Yeah. You know who, you know what gives huge mental vibes? Subscribing to Twigger. That's exactly it. You want to increase your mental, do you want to be a better League of Legends player? Do you want to be more beautiful, more handsome, more attractive to the opposite sex? Subscribe to Twigger lol. <laughs> That's how you got to do it. That's how you reel them in. <laughs> Oh, we didn't even get him? Not- Oh god! Actually... So... Oh god! Please get me the fuck out of here. I mean, the Kai'Sa ended up getting him, which is amazing. I do not know how that Kai'Sa got that kill. Genuinely amazed. So I'm just gonna hang by this blue buff because I feel like the Kazakhs kind of wanted to come in here. Big brain subs, right? What about to the same sex? That too. Works for everything. Whatever you're attracted to, you will be more attractive to that because you subbed. Even if you're asexual, you'll be more attracted to yourself. I knew I should have stayed there. I knew I should have goddamn stayed there. Oh, why didn't you just let me tank it? Oh my god. Ow. 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 Come on! Man, I definitely should have stayed there. That absolutely sucks. Can't believe Trigger just validated my asexuality. And if you're subbed, you're even better of an asexual. So, you know, always things to think about. Um, let's grab that guy. Ugh, man. <laughs> man, the fucking mental game of people. Good god, grow up. Okay, or the fact that I've got... My Relic Shield up apparently means absolutely nothing, but that's cool. Hmm. I know Kaisa, man. I heard it also gives you clear and radiant skin. It does! It does. Subscribing to me definitely does give you clear and beautiful skin as well. It's also, it's not even just about, like, clearing up acne and things like that. If you previously had acne and you've got some acne scars, it also takes that away as well. That's what's amazing. That's what's absolutely amazing about subscribing to me. It, like, turns back time, which is amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine if I literally just, like, said that it did all that? It's like, it also helps with your financial adventures. You'll, you'll do better at your job. Your pets will love you more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally everything. Ow. You'll be a baby again. Literally, yeah, you'll become a baby again. Man, literally like the fifth Yasuo in a goddamn row who has just been 
absolutely shit on in lane. Like, what the hell? What have we done? Like, this guy keeps on fucking taking the cannon when I've got Relic Shield. Like, Jesus Christ. Fun people, man. Real fun people. on the edge. <sighs> ow, 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 please stop hurting me. Curse of Yasuo. Man, it's so true. I don't know what it is about, like, today. But this is, like, what? The third Yasuo that we've had at, like, over a million points? And they've just sucked. <laughs> like... Oh, yeah. Good, good stuff over here. Good, good stuff. <laughs> Every time I see a player playing Yasuo, I want to hug them and ask them, who hurt you? And then slap them across the face. Who hurt you? But you have to say it like Batman, though. Like the, where is she? Mental of a melon. That's that's gonna be the best insult that I can come up with. Oh baby. I can't stay here either. Where's Yasuo going? It's like we say four bot. I stepped to trigger my acne, cleared up my plants are watered, my children are well fed. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I mean, we got a kill. I think we accidentally hit the ult twice, though, which was kind of dumb of me. But we flashed and we got the kill on the LeBlanc, so that's something. Um, random question, why the moniker, Twigger? What's a moniker? Let me, let me know what a moniker is, and then I will tell you exactly why I use it. <laughs> That's all I can all I can say right now. I don't know. Um, let's just grab that. We'll grab one of these. Um, to be honest, I'm actually ah uh, no, I don't even have enough anyways. Oh, Kai's is dead again. Oh, moniker means name. Gotcha. Um, why am I named Twigger? Um, it's basically a nickname. Um, when I was younger, I had a uh, a bit of a growth spurt. 
Um, and I don't mean gross for it that I got to like seven feet tall or anything like that. Um, I just ended up being um, like probably about six foot when I was in like grade 10 or eight. Um, and then it just kind of like looked like a twig. So that's kind of what I went with. Um, and then from there, um, the LOL comes from League of Legends. When I was making my YouTube channel, I didn't want it to just be Twigger. Um, so I made Twigger LOL, um, which can be League of Legends or Laugh Out Loud. Quality. Just quality. Oh man, that was actually enough. Damn. And we pulled her in, so the Lee Sin got a kill. I guess that's kind of okay. Like, how are we actually, like, losing other places so- Oh! He missed! No, it was so close. Oh man. This- Yeah, it's a 1 in 7. 1 in 7. Oh man, Kryzen 5-9. Skinny legend, that's why he's a twigger. Yeah, that was literally what it was. Like, I just was... I was quite skinny and quite tall. Not really tall, but, you know, tall enough, I guess. And yeah, Twig just kind of became the name. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm not even gonna kill him. That's fantastic. Man, he's tanky as all hell, too. Oh, man. Gonna try, buddy. I mean, I didn't particularly want the kill there, but I'll absolutely don't oh, bring her to me. Fucking class act, man. Class act bringing him right to me. It was actually a pretty fucking huge play. Oh fuck. Ow. Ow. <laughs> God, like, <laughs> I mean... That's the problem about Garen. Like, Garen is just like straight up in your face. There's not really a whole lot that you can do. Kind of at the whims of just getting absolutely blendered. Try to get a big group stun there. Oh. 
Oh man. Fucking unbelievable. <sighs> that is just an unreal game. I don't know what's going on today. Like, what do we... What are we doing wrong? Like, we're not even playing poorly. But we're just like every single game. We've gotten just like the most toxic players. Man, it's like my fifth Yasuo in a row. Who has just been like horrible. Holy. Your team is poo-poo. Man, most of the games that we've been playing, my team has been absolute poo-poo. I was gonna hopefully I take the bad mojo with me. Good luck in the rest of your night, Twigs. Anna123 Crazy, thank you so much. I don't want to put the bad juju on you, though. I, I don't want that. I would rather be the vessel for the bad juju. I hope that you have a fantastic night. Ban Yas. I literally might actually have to ban Yas. Like, I, ju I just... Because I it's not even that I don't want to face him. I just want him off of my team. Like, you're absolutely right. I think we have to ban Yasuo. Ooh, okay. If she's going Zaya, maybe we can do a Rakan game. That'd be fun. That actually looks like a really nice... Quick play Sona. I'll try to get a uh, a Sona game in soon. The thing is, so what I'm, <laughs> what the issue is, is now we're at zero LP. All that work that we put into getting up to 55 LP um, that I did off stream is completely gone. So now we're on zero LP, and we just lost the four that put us not in zero LP. So now we can genuinely demote, um, which I really don't want to do because I don't want to do the plat four promos again. So. I really, really want to win this one. So, Sona is not a very comfortable champion for me. A decently comfortable, but not very comfortable. I'm way more comfortable on Rakan, especially if we have a Zaya. And all I need to do is set this up. Like, if I set the fight up, then you've got a Singe running around. You've got a gigantic um, damage boost coming out of the uh, the Graves just hitting his ultimate. Like, um, anyone want top versus Rumble? I know. <laughs> They do have a good team comp, though.
We do have both. We do both have the Star Guardian skins. So that is kind of sexy. All you do is steal kills as Sona. It's accidentally, of course. I didn't mean to. I was securing it. <laughs> Man, that just reminds me of that fucking Yasuo during that other game that I was playing more Gunner. Remember when we did the Flash 3-man ultimate and he gets mad at me for doing it? <sighs> there's, there's just no... Some people you just can't make happy, you know? Sometimes... Sometimes you're just done. What runes do you prefer on Rakan these days? Um, I like Aftershock. My main thing, the one thing I don't like about going Guardian, even though Guardian is pretty good too, um, is that when I jump in, it puts me in just a really awkward position of being very, very squishy, um, and I'm in the middle of their team. So what I like doing is I like going Aftershock, because then when I engage, I get that huge boost for a few seconds of MR and um, armor, and that allows me to set up my team really well without just dying instantly. Gets me to set up my ultimate, set up the charms and everything like that, and then jump out and go back to my team. So that's kind of why I like Aftershock a little bit more than Guardian currently. But I would definitely say Guardian or Aftershock is kind of the way that you want to go, in my opinion. Then again, I'm not a gigantic Rakan player, but I play every now and again. So I'm actually going to go Ancient Coin, because there's no way I'm going to be able to harass this Zilly in vain very well. Alright, so next game, we are playing as Rakan in the bot lane. Of course, we're playing him as support. Um, in terms of the runes that we have gone for Rakan, we went Aftershock, Demolish, Bone Plating, and Revitalize with Celerity and Nullifying Orb. Um, we've also gone for CDR and a bunch of magic resistance, and you can probably tell why it is because they have a lot of magic damage on their team. Um, in terms of who we got in the top lane, we've got a Singed versus a Rumble. In the jungle, we have got Mundo versus the Graves, Akali versus Orianna in the mid lane, and then Vayne Zillion versus our Zaya and Rakan. So we do have the duo here of Zaya and Rakan with the Star Guardian skins, which is pretty damn sexy. But terrifying team to go up against, and I'm not entirely sure how we're going to kill a Mundo. The lucky thing is that we brought three Ignites, so hopefully that will be enough. Oh, and he's actually going proxy singed, eh? God damn. I haven't seen a proxy singed in so long. Um. Hey, Zaya. Zaya. What? Did you say something? Yeah. Never mind. It's me. So triggered and excited to see you playing. Good morning from Japan. Medin J18, glad to have you here from Japan. Holy, awesome to have you here. My mom was actually just in Tokyo for I think a week. What's happening? She very much enjoyed it. I mean, that wasn't a horrible first engage, I guess. Could have been better, could have been worse. Why aren't you just going in? Why am I getting like the most timid ADCs today? Like at least try to get her heal, right? It's gonna be okay. We can do this. Hey, I know that. Nice, there's the heal. That is awesome. Okay. Plays can now be made. It's not 
Let's get away. Just get away from my damn minions. Yeah, you want that? Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Let's waste some mana, shall we? Come on now. Okay. This is actually a pretty good position for us. Um, just because the vein is so low. Like, she's getting experience, but she can't really move up to get a lot of farm. Okay, they double warded too. So it's my bad for taking the kill. I really didn't want the kill, but at least she died. That's definitely worth it. 100% worth it. So long as she's dead. I know we've got a problem. Yeah, it's one of those things you would always rather take a kill than the vein get away, right? It's hundred percent completely agree with that. Um You know my love will save you. Because yeah, it is just one of those things that like imagine if I decided to not auto attack and then she gets away, like then it's just awful. Like that sucks. So it, I would always rather take a kill as support than potentially allow the um, the ADC to get away. Damn, that sucks. Oh my god, beauty! That was such a good roam! Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Gives you the shivers, doesn't it? That is a mid laner right there. Why does he do so much damage? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? No! 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 Woo! That boy. That boy does a lot of damage already. My cloak is woven. Ooh, yeah, we got the dragon, which is definitely a good thing. Hmm. 
So now the Zillion's got ult, though. Isa, how's it going? Nice to see you here. Oh no, the shutdowns. An enemy has been slain. Oh, Graves with the securities, though. Not saying that. Oh my god. I thought she condemned over here. Shit. Oh, she, yeah, she did condemn me. Oh man, that was a really good zillion bomb. I didn't think the Mundo was there. The Mundo just showed up right here, so I couldn't go that way. We just got kind of pincered. Damn it, that was really bad. Oof is right. Didn't work at all. It was a good zillion bomb, you can't argue that. Gotta give him credit. And then I tried to get the freaking um, charm onto the vein, but she was just too far away. How do you like me today? More than yesterday, less than tomorrow. I'm not sure how we play this. I, think I might try to roam mid. Darling. Yes. Pay attention. I mean, I guess I can't really roam over here. I can try. So that was actually a pretty decent roam there. That Graves has great objective play. The Graves is playing great. If you're good at playing Graves, like it, it is such a good thing. me down there ping the akali wanted to go in on the akali and then just kind of let me die oh sorry to the vein just kind of let me die there oh god nice
I mean, I saved him. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Nice. Okay. Still ended up working out. Barely. Oh, man. We had such a solid ulti there. Oh, God! No! 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 We can hold our head high. <laughs> it was just in a blind spot. I didn't see her. I literally just wanted to jump over the wall to use the blast cone to get to the bot lane. And she was just in this fucking perfect blind spot that I couldn't see her. Like, right in between these wards. Just in this little area. Couldn't even see her. God, that sucks. I mean, funny, but... It definitely sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have gone into help. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in there. Oh my god. Mundo, ladies and gentlemen. Mundo. But I mean, they're, they're base, though. Did she use R? Yeah, Kali used R. 100%. I'm gonna wait for this. Woo, baby. Mundo needs to be looking for nerfs. Right now, he is kind of a... I would say an overbuffed champion. Like, you just saw that. Like, he tanked the turret. Like, six turret shots with his ultimate going, and it doesn't even matter. Right? He's tanking a pretty fed Graves and a turret. And it didn't matter. So, that's that's kind of unreal to me. Any champion that can do that... Any champion that can dive turrets with no consequences, I find, is kind of an, a broken champion. And not that, like, you shouldn't be able to um, dive turrets at some point into the game. Like, if you, if you got nothing but tank items and you're a big, beefy boy, then sure. Yeah, absolutely, you should be able to tank a turret. For a bit. But there are just some champions, Mundo being one of them. It's like, okay, he's got level 6 now. That basically means he is, like, never gonna die to a turret again. Ow. The problem with juggernauts is they're just numbers. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's just kind of annoying that there are champions like that. Um, what the hell do we want to build next? Hardin sensor? It's good on Zaya. Let's do that. Those good guys are just kidding themselves. We are gonna need some healing reduction though. Okay, she's fine. Whew. NOT ON MY WATCH! <laughs> and I helped. This Graves is massive. He is. 
Yeah, five, two, and three. He's playing a really good Graves too. The light hmm. inside me died a long time ago, leaving a dark, very good looking soul. And the Orianna flash. Okay, that actually worked really damn well. Have you met my account? He didn't get killed! Oh, thank goodness. Woo! I'm sorry, but that was some freaking beautiful Zaya Rakan play, if you ask me. Please kill him! Please kill him! Please kill him! champion isn't it <laughs> what do you do i can't even escape it's like i set up the play i'm like yeah go get him team and then it's just like okay i guess he's just gonna keep running at me i'll be over here <laughs> oh man remind the boys and the girls of grievous wounds maybe um yeah We're definitely gonna need that. Um, I got you, my boy. Uh oh. Ow. Killing oh, Zaya. Oh, there it is. GG, well played. We won a game! Yay! <laughs> we did it! We did it! And it wasn't just me, it was my team. My team came together, and we didn't have anybody who was toxic, and we just played the game, and we did it. That's what we gotta do, we gotta ban Yasuo. We gotta ban Yasuo, because every time we get him on our team, he literally just freaking feeds. Oh, we believed hard enough, guys. We believed hard enough. Oh, I feel so much better. Holy. Rakan is actually so damn fun. Like, he is a really damn fun champion. I kind of want to play more of him. Oh, man. At least we did it. At least... League of Legends gods up there. Wherever you are. Whoever you are. Thank you. Thank you. We ain't getting demoted today. Maybe maybe on Tuesday. Maybe next stream. <laughs> but not this stream. Oh, God. shouldn't pray to Zoe, she's too fickle. <laughs> pray to Pan. It's true. If you can grate cheese on somebody's abs, you should pray for them. Pray to them, sorry. Not pray for them. Pray to them. <laughs> it's the same singed as we just played with. Um, so we want to ban. Let's ban. Screw it. Let's get Morgana out of here. Your worst decisions will haunt you. <laughs> we may we may yet get demoted, but it is not today. It's like that whole um speech at the end of Lord of the Rings. There will be a day where the shields of men shall fall, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> but it is not this day. 
This day we fight as Rakan. <laughs> we fight the toxicity. The days where Yasuo mains shall rule this earth. But it is not this day. Oh, we didn't ban Yas. All of them being squishy. We can just do that nice little laser beam right down the middle and kill all of them. That's going to be the plan. Hopefully it works. Um, you know, I'm actually just going to turn the light down one notch. Because now it's a little bit darker in the room. There we go. That's a little bit. Now I don't look so ghostly Casper-esque white. We're still ghostly Casper-esque white, but now it doesn't show as much. <laughs> I was going Manaflow Band on Lux, why nullifying orb? Um, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage from this Soraka and the Ezreal, and the Ezreal has quite a bit of match damage, same with the Soraka and the Rise as well. So I find nullifying orb saves your life quite a bit, especially with like Ezreal ults and things, um, where my mana issues are pretty much maintained by just getting a lost chapter. So that's why I don't think I really need Manaflow Band. It still works. Like, once again, I think it's more just personal preference, but I find that once I get my lost chapter, I don't really have mana issues all that much. Kind of just how I feel. Crimson Koi, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Glad to have you here. Um, Holly T, hey Twigger, how have your gains are going so far? Awful. <laughs> we we won the first game and I went like one in ten. Um, so we won that, but I didn't feel like I won that. And then we lost every single game to get down to zero LP from 55. And then we just won our last game as Rakan, though. So, we're only as good as the last game that we played. And that was a win, so we're winners. But we're always winners, even when we lose. But I think this is probably going to be the last game of the stream, I think. Um, because it's already been four hours. This will put us probably to about like four and a half hours. So we should be pretty good. We'll see We'll see how quick this game is. If it's a quick game, we'll do another one. If it's not a quick game, then we shall call it on Lux. Unforgiven, how's it going, buddy? Nice to see you here. Hopefully you had a good stream. Saw so you streaming earlier. Lurked a little bit. Damn, I really wanted to throw an ability out. The elements are all at my disposal. 
<laughs> it can only go up from here. You're not wrong. Well, I think you are kind of wrong because we didn't get demoted. So it could actually go way worse from here. The thing is, too, it could even be so much worse. It could be so much worse that it's like one of these toxic people ends up being like some elite hacker for the FBI and ends up like finding my house and taking my dog. Like it could be way worse, right? You know, you tilt one Yasuo main who ends up being like some phenomenal cyber hacker. <laughs> and your life just goes downhill. Let's just not think about the worst case scenarios. Oh, that's a nice leash. That's a nice leash. Okay, last game. Playing as Soraka. Playing a Soraka. We're playing against a Soraka. We're playing Lux. God. Come on, Twigger. Figure it out. Professional streamer. Come on. Come on. Um, we're playing Lux in the bot lane. Um, gonna be an interesting one. Um, in terms of our runes, we've gone for... Oh, oh, never mind. He's... I forgot. He's the... Um... How did that one hit me? But mine didn't hit her. Um, we've gone for um, Comets, Nullifying Orb, Transcendence, and Scorch. Um, we probably have to back, um, are we gonna hit level two first? Oh! I missed. I mean, not awful. Not the best, not the worst. Oh, I can't believe that that didn't hit. Oh, come on. Never give up. Okay. Oh, Mochichi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Greatly appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Uh oh. Ow. How the fuck did that go through the Kaisa? What the hell was that? Did you see that Q? That Ezreal Q went like straight damn through. That's BS. Damn it. Nice to see a Canadian streamer. Glad to be a Canadian streamer. I mean, he's taking the turret. Fuck, he ended up flashing anyways. God, that sucks. Oh well. And next time you come say something, I just like lurking, man. It's kind of what I do. Depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I say stuff. Sometimes I just like sit there. Normally I'm like doing other things, like writing a report or something like that, and I'll just put something on in the background. There was nothing we could have done there. Um, the good news is, it actually wasn't like the worst case scenario for us because we did end up getting the Q onto the Kha'Zix, which forced him to flash. So, at least that was the case. Could have been worse. The main issue right now, though, is that we're losing in every lane. Which we've seen this movie before.
So I'm really hoping that we start picking things up. Fiora's apparently got like a 74% win rate, which ain't great. Man, this is why I love Soraka. It's also why I hate playing against Soraka. <laughs> playing a really good Soraka, just super passive. And he's going for the Chalice first. Man. And Kha'Zix is on a killing spree, that sucks. We just cannot hit the Soraka with fucking anything! <laughs> um, did we win the Pike game? Hell no! No, we did not. Man, the thing is, too, I just don't know where they've warded- This movie sucks, man, even the Minions movie was better! <laughs> I didn't even see the Minions movie. Ow, fuck, really? We, like, can't even fucking push up. Like, man, we are just getting absolutely rinsed here. They can just free farm. Like, we're not even getting experience anymore. Oh, man. Oh, man, you gotta kill the fucking Raka, though! Well, that used literally fucking everything, and now here's a rise. Oh god, if we can just make it out of here. Okay, that was nice. That actually was not that bad, all things considered. We got a good binding onto the um, the Rise, which kind of stopped him from coming in. Got a kill onto the Soraka with the Ignite. I mean, wasn't ideal, but I'll take it. How much for ten of these? So we just need to let's 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 go fire. Let's get angry. Let's get angry. Like we can definitely win this. Like the thing is, once I start getting items, I will become Lux, and then I'm just gonna throw out gigantic spells. That's the idea, anyways. Hopefully it works. Okay. No one threatens me. There goes Mr. Pink Ward. Unfortunately, he's dead. He was so young, too.
because you can't control it. I can. Huge play. I can't fucking go in there anymore. Damn. It was a really good start, but two TPs from the enemy team. It's amazing how quick that'll screw a gank over. Get fucking wrecked. still in this boys we are absolutely still in this not gonna take this loss lightly Does this come in multiple colors? I will carry the living hell out of this game the Ezreal just killed the singe I guess so that's interesting <laughs> it's Ezreal just soloed the singe too damn Okay, so there's the dragon. I mean, we kind of knew that that was probably going to happen eventually. Oh, now people are dying to Ezreal. At least Ezreal ended up dying. This place isn't going to burn itself down. Uh oh. Damn. Of course Soraka's there. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? do we do Sometimes when you want to see plays made, you got to just make them yourself. Gold is one element everyone respects. Whew. God, we just have to stop dying in other places. It's like we were doing so poorly in the bot lane, but now we're finally coming back and now everybody else is doing so poorly. Oh god. Take that. When can I burn something? Am I the only one warding? Okay, calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. How did that not hit? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Stop going for the Ezreal! Fuck me. 
Go for Soraka. God, like you gotta try to kill the Soraka. That's the whole thing. I have no idea what's happening anymore. <laughs> Genuinely, no damn clue. Oh. My emotions sometimes get the better of me. And like, I love it. Like this, Kai's is the one who's saying like the team is playing bad. Like she played so fucking awful, and she's been wanting to surrender this entire damn time. Like, get out of here. Ugh. I'm gonna try to seal the dragon. It's kind of all I can do. Oh shit. Ah, he's so fed now. He's so fed. He wasn't fed before. Didn't even know he was coming. It's a good E over the wall. Hmm. So how do we beat them here? How do we win? Why am I in silver? I am at least platinum material after seeing them in action. Uh, yeah. You just gotta carry. You gotta carry harder. The thing is, everybody who says that they should be in, like, platinum or things like that, you really have to look at, like, what you do in-game. Because there's a lot of things that you have to factor in. I fucking missed. Are you kidding me? Why are you going away from me? Please. Oh god, oh shit. Oh, I totally did not see the fucking Kha'Zix there. God damn. I missed that guy entirely. He probably shouldn't have come back in there. Damn. Oh man, how do we win this? Where do we win this? Where, how, what, when? Zoning ult. Yeah, it just seems like I always get kind of unlucky when it comes to my ultimates. Like, I have been hit by some rank ultimates from other Luxes. But then when I play, it's like I miss them by a freaking hairline and it doesn't seem to really matter. Yeah, of course, she's got barrier. Why wouldn't she have barrier, right? I mean, I got a good heal, sorry, shield off onto the Kaiser, so I get my assist there. That's worth it, I would say. Gotta find some way of stopping this damn Ezreal, though. 
Don't dive. Oh, God. Nice. Okay. I mean, it worked. It worked. Yep. That's about what a Cassix will do. You got a flash, my boy. How much for ten of these? She can fucking dive under a turret fighting a five and five gangplank. What? I bear the Earth's secrets. Okay. Boy, that seems fair. Uh oh Actually had to freaking flash that rise cube. Look at that damage. Holy. Good night. Good luck with your game, Twig. I heart Mew. Thank you so much. This is probably going to be the last one. It's actually been already 24 minutes. So, yeah, we're probably going to call it after this one. Uh, but we, once again, people, if you have not been here, uh, we do a nice little Q&A section just at the very end of the stream. So if you have any questions boiling, think of them. Think of them. And when this game is done, we'll do a little uh, question and answer segment. We can answer your most unexpected Twigger questions. God damn. I mean, she is fucking good. That's the annoying thing. I was fear of getting buff next patch. The thing is, like, you really do have to know how to play her. I don't think she's, like, insanely overpowered. I think she's just, like, really good, especially if you know how to play it. Oh, God. Why are you? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ugh. There's fire in my veins, but my heart is hard as stone. Damn it. 118, that sucks. The land will turn to flame. Oh man. That's kind of unreal. So I said the singe was so good last game. And then he fucks it up so bad this game. Like, that's just really, really unfortunate. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh, I hate Kazix too. Man, what a fucking game. Literally, why are you running face first into a Kha'Zix? <laughs> oh man. That is just absolutely unreal. Oh, some good fun people in this one. Is this just me or does this always happen? You get a really good game with someone, you do it with them, or they end up being the same team and suddenly they suck. I think you're 100% right. This is like a Twigger specialty. <clears throat> like the chef's special. Seems like, yeah, every single time. 
I have somebody who plays amazing. Singe last time had a a 13 minute inhibitor in that last game. And then he just got dumpstered this game. I'm gonna report this, guys. Uh... Oh, that's unfortunate. Who did I out damage? I probably out damage quite a few people. Yeah, out damage the Rexai and the Gangplank. That's unfortunate. Well, what can you do? Hey, we're back down to one fucking LP. I'm probably gonna have to play some games off stream to bring that back up so we don't demote on stream. But holy god, that was one hell of a bad stream. And it's two days in a row, two stream days in a row. That it's just been like, what do we do with this? Like, man, we got that one victory, but it didn't feel like a victory because we went one and ten. So one, two wins and one, two, three, four, five, six losses. Two to six. Oh, man. Yikes. Just a yikes. That's an unfortunate one. It really is. But what can you do? You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. All right. Question and answer, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick um, and then come back here. We'll ask and answer questions for like 10 minutes and then we will call it a day. So get some chair hype in and get your questions ready. So what questions do we have? Does anybody have any questions? Oh God, I feel like I'm genuinely butt hurt over that stream. You've probably answered this millions of times, but where does the name Twigger come from? Oh, no problem. Some people just haven't heard the answer. Um, it was mainly because when I was younger, I had a growth spurt in like grade eight or nine or 10 or something like that. Um, I'm not freakishly tall, but I'm like six foot. And I just became like six foot after that period of time and I was really skinny and tall. Um, so I'm six one now, um, but I was also really stick thin. So people kind of called me a twig. I just kind of turned that into my name. Um, it became Twigger uh, for my online personality. And then when I made my YouTube channel, I just added the LOL to the end of it. Um, just so that way it was Twigger League of Legends or Laugh Out Loud if I decided to do a different type of game. How many subs do you need for 200 subs? Um, good question. We didn't hit it, I don't believe. We are currently sitting at 196 subs. So we are four subs away from 200. It's all good. We'll probably hit it on Tuesday, which would be awesome. But pretty damn awesome that we're nearing 200 subscribers. Very, very cool. Um, do you watch anime at all? Um, no, to be honest. I have always wanted to get into it. Um, I've always really liked any type of anime when... Oh my god, Louie! No, buddy, you did not have to do that. God damn, Louie. Thank you, buddy. I greatly appreciate that. So, ladies and gentlemen, so Sup Master, Lunatic, Pandora XD, Charming Fortune, Juno's Dream, and Mja Lu, welcome. You now have a tier one subscription from Screwy Louie. Thank you so much for the gift there. And once again, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, it is 50% off new tier one subs, and we are having new emotes made. I just got the uh, the sketches of them. They're looking very, very cool. Um, so hopefully those will be finalized this week, and then we'll uh, have those available for you to use in tier one subs. So definitely get your subs. But Louie, thank you so much, man. Greatly appreciate that. 
Um, how do you plan YouTube and streaming around work? I'm thinking of doing something myself and think of how to plan plan around uni. Um, you know, interesting. Um, man, how did I do it? The thing was, like, when I was starting, um, I didn't have the same type of, like, editing and process that I have now. It takes a lot longer to get videos done um, nowadays than when I was initially uploading. When I was initially uploading, I was, like, in Windows Movie Maker. Just, like, getting a quick intro in and then, like, throwing the game out there onto my channel. Um, what I would recommend doing is that don't make this a job. Um, make it a hobby. Make it something fun, something that you enjoy doing. Um, and be consistent about uploading. Um, if you're gonna start uploading, continue to upload. Con YouTube really, really loves consistency. Um, so if you just, like, upload three videos and then you're away for two months and then you upload a couple more, like, that doesn't, it's not really gonna do much for you. So try to just pick a schedule. Say, like, if you can only do a video a week, do a video a week and make sure you hit that video a week or a couple videos, things like that. So that's what always helps um is just being really consistent as to and then you know my thing was when i started doing this um i had like maybe a few people watching it was just because i wanted to watch videos again with my friends and watch our games back um but then a couple people started watching and then you know 10 people started watching and then some people kind of said like um do you can you upgrade your microphone because the quality isn't that great so i said okay so i would get a new microphone because some people wanted to hear a better quality mic and then can you update this and like so i updated some other things to make it better and then i got an actual intro done like and it just starts kind of growing progressively so don't think that you're going to start here just start exactly where you're comfortable getting things done and the views will come um if you and your wife had to do a couple's cosplay which one would it be oh sorry i haven't answered the anime question i love anime actually really do but i don't watch it <laughs> so like every time i watch it like i love dragon ball z um, that was a huge show for me growing up. Um, I enjoyed watching One Punch Man. That's like the only other anime that I've... Oh, sorry. And I watched a little bit of Attack on Titan. I watched two seasons of that. <clears throat> I really do enjoy it. Um, and I think I want to get into more. Um, but I just don't know what to watch. And it's also, I just don't really know when to find the time. Because either I'm recording or trying to relax playing games or I'm dealing with Lola. And then when my wife comes home, she doesn't watch any anime or doesn't want to watch any anime. So then I'm kind of stuck uh so i don't end up watching it um so that's kind of the position that i'm in um but yeah eventually i would like to i'd like to watch more of it um and tweet at me like if you guys have like suggestions of things that i should watch tweet me best way to get a hold of me um what are we get? oh sorry so couples cosplay um oh god i getting my wife into a couples cosplay would be a challenge like, you have to understand, she did something successful with her life, right? She went and became a, an organic chemistry professor, right? She's the nerd that does things for the world, and I'm the nerd who entertains for the world. <laughs> That's, we went to very opposite ends of the spectrum. So, um, if we were to do... It would have to be something cooking-related, because Christine really, really enjoys cooking. Um, like, you could maybe get her to do something like Pokemon-related. She did watch Pokemon when she was younger. Like, maybe that would happen. Um, but yeah, it would have to be something that she would be really into. Um, not like League of Legends. She would never do something like that. Um, how many years have you played League? Um, we're bordering on 10. I played in the beta. So I think I started in 2009 playing League. So yeah, it's been almost a decade. When League turns 10, <laughs> it's been a long damn time. Um, when are we gonna have a cooking stream? Probably not for a while. Um, right now we're currently renting a place in New Mexico. Um, if I'm gonna ever do a cooking stream, it's gonna be when we buy a house. Um, because, like, Christine and I both love cooking, so we're gonna have a really, really nice kitchen. That's a- we have to. Big backyard for Lola, and big kitchen for us. Those are the two criteria of any house that we're gonna be in. I'll sleep on the couch for all I care, for a big backyard and a, uh, big kitchen. So it'll have to be at least until then. Um, and we're probably gonna be buying a house next year. Probably, like, halfway through next year, I would assume. So, maybe then. Maybe we'll do something then. Fellow Canadian here, what province are you in? Um, currently I'm actually in New Mexico in the United States, but I was born and raised in Ontario. Um, just outside of Toronto. Um, put you at 201 sexy. It's very sexy. I'm very happy. I'm gonna tweet about that. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Um... Uh, still streaming or done now? I'm done now. This is the question and answer period just to kind of wrap things up. 
Um, the best Lux build. God, that's a really, really tough thing to kind of go off of. What I would say my favorite Lux build is the Dark Harvest Ultimate Reset build. I just find it so damn fun because you just end up doing so much damage with Dark Harvest and you just have your ultimate up constantly. So I would say the, the Dark Harvest Presence of Mind Ultimate Reset build is probably the most fun. What would you name your child? I have absolutely no idea, but that will be a very long conversation with my wife when that ends up happening. That's a long answer, my man. I do I love it. Yeah, and also, man, if you if you if anybody has any questions about starting up a YouTube channel or like a Twitch stream, or if you just have any general questions, email me. Like twiggerlol at gmail.com. Send me an email, send me a DM on Twitter. Like I, I try to answer as many people as I can, even on Discord. If you're in the Discord, let me know. I try to answer as many questions as I can because I, I really like helping the community out. Um, how was your transition as a serious streamer? Your first videos, you sounded so solemn and very deep and calm voice and now being a spark of energy, high-pitched screams. That's a great question. Um, back in the uh, the like beta days, I was actually a really good player. Um, I was playing way better than what I'm playing now. Like probably like high diamond, low master tier. But back then it was just ELO base. There wasn't actually like tiers. Um, so I thought that what I was going to do was I was going to make a, a more informative League of Legends channel. Um, and you, you have to remember too, League of Legends wasn't that big. So like if you were good at League of Legends, people kind of knew. So people did kind of know that I was decent at the game. Um, but I, I thought that I was going to use that um platform to be more informative and like show people how to play the game because i've been playing it since the beta i was pretty good myself and there weren't a lot of really informative channels yet um so that's how i started um but then it just like i it didn't feel like me um i started just feeling a little bit like i was being somebody else online and i didn't want that like what you see me here is exactly what you get in real life like, I'm just as loud, I'm just as vocal, I try to have fun with things, I scream like a preview best and teenage girl when something scares me. Like, this is what it is. So I like being myself a little bit more, um, and I just find that this is more entertaining. I think that right now there are a lot of, like, solemn, um, kind of more boring League YouTubers, and I like being a little bit more fun and rambunctious. Um, if you want to get into it, My Hero Academia, Ac yeah, I heard that that one was really good, so I, I should try that one out. Fairy Tale Blue Exorcist. Yeah, I think Hero Academia is the, the first one that I should do. And apparently, like, Demon Hunter, I think somebody mentioned to me before. I've decided to tweet at you at the end of every stream to say it was fun. I appreciate that, Galaxy. Greatly appreciate that. I hope you have a good time. Zaya Rakan. Yeah, there's no goddamn way she would dress up as Zaya. Um, does she love video games? No, good God, no. She she doesn't play, like, any video games. She came from a really humble background. Um, so she didn't really have, like, any consoles growing up um or any video games of that nature so she focused on school and boy did it pay off for her so it's kind of fun now um us being married that like i've kind of gotten her into some like we play things like mario kart and um cloudberry kingdom on xbox and just like some little games here and there that she has a really fun time just kind of playing and relaxing a little bit overcooked she loves overcooked on the switch so you know it's i'm never gonna force her to play video games i don't necessarily want her to be interested in video games i love the fact that we have such opposite things that we really enjoy and that we have careers in. Um, but we come together on so many other things like cooking and our love for Lola and like rock climbing and so many different things that we love. Um, that it's, I, I, I kind of like that this is kind of my domain and I get to kind of introduce her to things just like the academic world is her domain. Um, and she gets to introduce me to a lot of things and a lot of people, which is kind of nice. Um... Big backyard for little Lola. She she loves running around. <laughs> That's why I want the big backyard. Um, what type of music are you into? Um, to be honest, it's mostly this stuff um, that you're listening to right now. It's called Chill Hop. Um, my whole vibe that I go for. Um, and to be honest, I listen to this stuff even off stream, just in case you're wondering. I 100% I listen to this stuff. Um, my vibe that I really, really enjoy is a type of music that is interesting enough that when you pay attention to it and give it your full attention, it's interesting and you want to listen to it. But it's not too interesting that it distracts you from anything that you're doing. Right? So I can listen to this by myself and would love listening to this. But luckily it's not too over the top that it takes away from my gaming or the commentary or anything like that. That's what I enjoy. So I would say Chill Hop, Chill Step is also really good. Um, but then if you're talking about just like mainstream stuff, I was born and raised on classic rock. My dad was a rocker. My mom was a disco queen. So I like anything from like ACDC to ABBA 
the Rolling Stones, Billy Joel, um, Saturday Night Fever, the Bee Gees, all those kinds of things. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Love all that stuff. Um, do you enjoy console games? Oh, okay, but the Thanos Lux. The Thanos Lux was amazing. Don't even say it wasn't. Do you enjoy console games that are more story-oriented, like Detroit, Become Human, or Free Roam, like Fallout 4 and Breath of the Wild? Um, oh man. I feel as though I'm kind of a mix between both. Um, I like the open world concept. I played, I, the thing is I can't really talk too much about those games because I haven't played a lot of them. I played Skyrim. That's probably the most open world that I've had. The problem that I find about games like Skyrim, I love it, but I'm one of those people, I don't know why this is, but every room that I enter in things like Fallout or Skyrim, I have to explore every single aspect of every single room. So the game takes me for fucking ever. But I like exploring every single little bit of it. So I like the open world, but I don't like the open world because it just takes me so damn long to get through them that I kind of do like story-based things that kind of keep the ball rolling for me to kind of keep me on task. Um, good God, why are you so wholesome, Twig? I, I try my best to just be a, a glimmer of light in a toxic world. Um, favorite skin, Elemental Slux, because it's like eight skins in one, and it's my main, so that would probably be it. If it wasn't that skin, it would probably be something like, um, man, I don't know. The Project skins are really nice. I would probably say the Project skins are really, really good. Um, and the Arcade skins, Arcade Hecarim, that'll be one. Any of the Arcade, Arcade Hecarim, Ari, or Ezreal, I love all those skins. Caitlyn. Arcade skins. Those would be the best. Um, League and Beta was a mess. I've been playing for like a year and a half, but everything seems like chaos. Man, everything was chaos back in the beta. You could stack um, Sunfire Capes on Twitch, and it was invisible for like two minutes, and you could actually just stack them and just walk around people and kill them, which was hilarious. If you had to make a skin, what would it be and for who? Um, oh, man. Um, I wouldn't make it for Lux, which would be a very common answer. She's got way too many fucking skins as it is. Um, I would make it for a champion that doesn't have a lot of skins. So somebody like, I don't know, Zack, I think would maybe deserve a skin. Um, Kiana deserves another skin. She only has like one or two. Um, yeah, like I would maybe think like a Zack one. Maybe make him like a dark Zack or something like that. Like a bloody Zack, make him like a scary skin. Or like a literally like an all black one. So it's kind of like an ink blob. Like if you had like ink, that's what it would be. Ink Zack, I think would actually be super cool. If he just had like white eyes and then just like black liquid. And he left like ink splotches. I think that would actually be sick. That'd be a fun one. Um, how did you guys meet? Oh, Christina and I, we actually met online. Funnily enough. Um, I came back from university in Nova Scotia and I went to Toronto um, to do my master's in urban planning. Um, I tried going out with my friends who used to play rugby with um, and tried to go and pick up girls. And I realized that the dating game in Toronto was so different than um, the, uh, the dating scene in Nova Scotia. So I basically just went online um, to try to skip that whole process. And she was the first person that I saw online. Um, we didn't have anything in common. I just saw her, like, there was this rotating bar of women that you could talk to. Um, and so I saw her. I was like, oh, she's really cute. So I clicked on her, saw her profile, saw that she was really smart, liked cooking, um, seemed like a really fun person. And um, I messaged her. She messaged me back. We talked for a little bit. And then we met for our first date after a week of talking. And the first date lasted, like, five hours. We just could not stop talking to one another. Um, and then the rest is kind of history. Mm. Um, that is a true RPG player. It's true. 100%. Um, so you generally enjoy good music. I try. Man, the thing is, my wife is really into country music, and I'm just not there. I just can't do it. I could do, like, old country music, like Johnny Cash and stuff, but the twang of it just does it doesn't get me it's the same thing with rap music with me it's like I, I can dig old rap music like tupac and biggie and like snoop dogg and things like that um the wu-tang clan like i can listen to that stuff but like the new stuff was what was it mumble rap or something that might just be like the fact that i'm fucking ancient now and i don't know what you kids listen to but it's just i can't i can't do it it's not even entertaining for me to listen to i can't even I need to be able to bob my head to something. And mumble rap just, no, 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 no. I just, I can't, I, no, no thanks. 
<laughs> one more day till the raid. Yeah, did you guys like the uh, the Will and Lux video? I thought that that was kick-ass. I really, really enjoyed doing that Area 51 thing. We gotta make something topical, you know? I would love vintage skin series art styles like the 1920s. Man, I loved it when they did like the flapper jinx. I don't know why they didn't make more skins like that. I think it would have been sick. But yet here we are. Um, a rotating bar of women you can talk to. That's so and so wrong. Well, it's not like a bar. It's you get it. It's like there's this on the top of a website. You've got that bar that has, that's like cut into like eight different things, eight different images, and it's the profile pictures of the women who are online right now. And it just like rotates, so you see like different women who are online right now. So that that's how I saw her. <laughs> Join the old man club. I am so happy to be part of the old man club. Loving it. Turning 30 in March. Loving it. I don't want to be a kid nowadays. I, I'm so happy to be not a kid, not a teenager, out of the dating scene, done with all of it. I love the fact that I'm making my own money. I've got my own house. I've got my own dog. I've got a wife. I can pay for my own bills and watch what I want, when I want, go out when I want. Oh, so much better being older. More responsibility and more work, absolutely, but the freedom is totally worth it. So I think that is probably going to do it. Seems that like we've kind of hit the end of the questions. Now we're just talking about really sick skins, which I fully agree with you on. But that's going to do it for me. So guys, thank you once again so much, Louis, especially for all those gifted subs right there at the end. Absolutely love all the support. Appreciate all of you for all the follows, the bits, the donations, the subscriptions. All of you lurkers who were there who didn't want to say anything. Thank you so much for the viewership. Appreciate all of you being here. I'm going to be back on Tuesday with another stream. And nice little tidbit of information for you folks. We might have a bonus Lux video coming out tomorrow. Just saying, there might be.